Hello, my lovely peaches. This is a super quick video that I just spent a few hours on. I am still working on my big, huge, overly ambitious project, but that's like a big, huge thing. So I really wanted to just extract this part of the call where Wendy calls Donna and there was like a question. Does Donna say the police department? Does she say something partner? Does she say something completely else? So I... Tried it again this time in Premiere Pro where I did try to raise the volume on the parts where Donna was speaking and then I so it's, I play just that part of the call twice I don't play the whole entire call I just play that section and then the second time I'm zoomed in on Wendy's face and I try to sharpen it a little bit and brighten it a tiny bit just so we can look at her facial expressions because I feel like she is doing smiles and duper's delight and crap like that. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And again, thank you to all my new subscribers. I love when people make comments that are interesting, thoughtful, thought-provoking, asking questions and adding to a thoughtful discussion. And I so much appreciate that. So Thank you, and I'll look forward to your comments, okay? Bye. Tell me what you think she says in these clips, okay? And if you want to hear the whole entire thing, go to Deep Dive True Crime Mentor Lawyer page. You can find the five-hour video of Wendy's entire police interview there. Okay, I'm going to react this to is, it, so here we go. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, my. Maybe I should text them if I can't reach them. Where are you? Hi, Mom. How's it going? Mom, I need you to sit down. I am fine. The boys are fine. Um, I need you to sit down. I'm I'm fine, and the boys are and the boys are fine. Danny has been. Dan you can put me on speaker. Yeah. Um, Danny has been shot. Um, and I don't think he's going to make it. Um, and so, I know, I know. Um, so I found this out around one or two today, and I'm at the police. Okay, here goes. This is... This is the worst day of my life. Maybe I should text them if I can't reach them. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Mom, I need you to sit down. I am fine. The boys are fine. Um, I need you to sit down. I'm I'm fine, and the boys are and the boys are fine. Danny has been. Dan, you can put me on speaker. Yeah. Um, Danny has been shot. Um. And I don't think he's gonna make it. Um, and so I know, I know. Um, so I found this out around one or two today, and I'm at the police. So, what are your thoughts? Um, instead of me playing it 80,000 times, I'm just going to let you rewind it a bunch if you want to. And I tried to sharpen it. It still looks fuzzy. And you see those coats? 
I wonder if that guy who was complaining about my messy apartment and my neck pain ever came back again. It's messy. Oh, look, there's some more mess. Oh, that's just a blanket. <laughs> Anyways, so thanks to all my new internet friends. So let me know what you think and what you hear. And if you've noticed anything, this is just the first few seconds of the call. Like I said, you can go listen to the whole call and or the whole entire five hours if you want to. I do have a bunch of the clips and I have longer pieces. And like I said, I'm going to be putting together a much longer video with some other points that I am internet sleuthing and investigating and just doing my own piecing together out of curiosity. And I know that this, this case is 10 years old and there's probably millions of people out there, maybe not millions, but there's probably hundreds, thousands of people out there putting out videos about this case. So if you're here watching my videos in particular, I really, really appreciate you. And I just also want to say to somebody, somebody made a comment that they'd watched hundreds of hours about this and they got insights on my page they hadn't heard elsewhere. And I just want you to know that's one of the best compliments ever. I am so impressed by your compliment. Like, I just love that. And then, of course, I also love the people who love my lights because I love my lights. They're festive. These are up all year round. I never take them down. I just change the color theme. As you see, it's red and green for Christmas right now. These ones, those are just more like, they're always like that. And then, yeah, we we'll might be going back to, well, I don't know what I'm going to change it to for New Year's, but we'll see. All right. Mwah! See you soon. Bye.